Symbaloo.edu is a visual and social bookmarking tool that makes it easy to create, access, and share Web 2.0 personal learning environments. From online tools, videos, and images, to social networks, websites, and databases, if you can find it on the internet, Symbaloo can organize it. You might be asking, what makes Symbaloo.edu different from other bookmarking tools, like Reddit? Or Delicious? Hands down, the greatest advantage of Symbaloo EDU is its visual appeal. The clean design makes organizing resources simple and very easy to use. Let me show you the basics on how to get started. First, like most internet tools, you will need to open an account. This couldn't be easier and just requires you to fill in four fields. Done. After verifying your email address, you can sign on to your Symbaloo EDU account. Symbaloo EDU has been customized for immediate usability. I will use the delivered screens to highlight the various basic features that are available. You will first notice the collection of tiles arranged on the screen and a series of tabs running along the top. In Symbaloo, these collection of tiles are referred to as a wall or a web mix, and each tile represents a link to an internet resource, like an RSS feed, a website, or even another Symbaloo web mix. The tiles within each web mix can be arranged and customized at will. You can group and color code links for easy identification. As you can see, Symbaloo is a great way to organize a Web 2.0 toolkit. But what if you wanted to add more resources? How do you do it? Adding a new resource to a web mix is easy. Simply move your cursor to an empty tile space and click. You will be prompted to either search for existing tiles within the Symbaloo gallery, create your own, or add a new web mix. There are thousands of users constantly adding tiles to the Symbaloo gallery. Chances are you will find the resource you are looking for on the first try. For this example, we'll just search for a resource like KidBlog. Typing KidBlog into the search field brings up a tile that we can click on. It gets added to the web mix where we can then change its location or customize its color, title, or icon image. Creating your own web mix is just as easy. Simply click on the plus icon at the end of the navigation tabs. You will be given an empty wall where you can start adding tiles from the gallery like we just saw, or Use the quick start option to select from a collection of popular tiles in different common categories. In this example, I am interested in adding links related to STEM. So entering STEM in the search field brings up both tiles and web mixes from the gallery that have been tagged with this term. If I view selected lists, I can see that there are hundreds of collections I can choose from. I can also see how they are rated and from which countries they originate. After previewing the web mixes, I can add it to my Symbaloo or continue creating my own tiles. When I'm done creating my web mix, I can then optionally choose to share it publicly or privately with friends or colleagues, and it's here where the power of Symbaloo begins to become apparent. But the real benefit for 21st century teaching is exemplified by this sample theme-based web mix. In this web mix, a teacher or student has prepared a learning environment about dolphins. As you can see, the web mix includes popular 2.0 tools like Logster and Google Docs, as well as resources from YouTube and Yahoo. If the teacher chose, online quizzes, challenges, or web quests could be incorporated as new tiles, presenting learning milestones to be completed by the student in the order of their choosing. If this environment was student created and shared, the teacher could then monitor and guide the learner as they researched the resources. The student could also share their web mix with other classmates for collaborative work. I'm still new to Symbaloo, so I'm not really aware of any major drawbacks. I have been told that when sharing web mixes between teachers and students, the students must remember to update their environments after editing so that the teacher can see their most recent work but students sometimes forget to do this. From our examples, we can see that Symbaloo can be used as a personal learning environment, allowing teachers and students alike 
to research tools while learning from other Symbaloo EDU users. It can also support problem-based learning, where students can solve online challenges using their own tools and defining their own learning paths, while still permitting teachers to observe and guide. Finally, Symbaloo EDU is a great toolkit to organize, store, and share the growing number of online tools out there using a simple and visually appealing interface. In conclusion, Symbaloo allows for the research and management of learning content and tools. The results are environments that support individual learning goals, unique learning paths, and the creation of personal learning networks all in one place.